Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Step Campus. This is lecture five of learning Selenium from scratch. In this video, we are going to talk about Selenium components. In previous lecture, we have learned about the Selenium architecture. Okay, so Selenium components. So we have four Selenium components. Okay, the first one is Selenium IDE, Selenium RC, Selenium Web Driver, and Selenium Grid. So we will see one by one about all. Okay, the first one Selenium IDE. Okay, so what is this Selenium IDE in components of selenium okay selenium ide so actually selenium ide is a browser extender okay so once uh, uh, like when it was launched uh, previously okay so it is like a browser so you don't need to install anything you have to go to the google chrome or any browser and then you have to add a extension and then you can use use this ide okay so uh, it is a it is a browser extension okay it is a browser extension For Firefox, for Firefox. So, like when it was launched, uh, launched earlier, so it is for the Firefox only. But now later on, they have added for the Chrome as well. Okay. So the initial when it was launched, so it is for the Firefox only. But later on, it is available for the Chrome extension as well. So it is a browser extension for Fire Firefox and Chrome browser. Okay. And what it will do? So that allows that allows users to okay users to record okay record playback okay and edit the test cases edit the test cases without using any programming language okay without using any programming language okay so what this basically mean now so this IDE is used for very simple test cases. Okay, so if you have some simple test cases to perform, so this IDE is very useful. So in this one, like you no need to uh, no need to record any programming language, no any high speed professional required. Okay, so it's basically a extension where you have given a simple feature, you have to add uh, the extension on your browser, and then you can play and uh, record and playback your test cases. So whatever you will perform manually, that will be converted into the uh, script. And then you can play back, and then you can edit the test cases as well as uh, as per your convenience. So this is basically an IDE. Okay. So so I will tell you some more features about this one. See, so as I told you, so Selenium IDE is not used for the complex uh, test scenario. It is used for the simple test cases. So complex test uh, complex test cases. Uh, I will tell you which one. So complex test cases like um, yeah handling drop down, handling drop down. Handling drop down, then handling alert. I will write it here alert. Okay. Uh, alert. Okay. Mouse action and navigation. And navigation. So you can see uh, 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 window, uh, switch to windows and all. So these type of uh, complex scenario is not handled by the IDE. So these are the limitations of Selenium IDE. Okay. And one more thing. In this, in this we don't have uh, required required of any server. Okay, we don't require of any server. That's why that's why it is very fast. It is very fast, but for simple test cases. Okay, but for simple test cases only. So this is the limit cases we can say. Now the second components. So second components we have Selenium RC. So Selenium RC also known as Selenium Remote Control. Okay. Yeah. Selenium RC. Also known as. Also known as Selenium Remote Control. Okay. Remote Control. So what does the uh, what is the use of Selenium remote control? So Selenium remote control is a we can say it is a server kind of uh, thing. So it is a server. It is a server which accept okay, which accept the script which accept the script from the client from the client and perform the same operation. Okay, perform the same operation. 
free of browser or we can say uh, client and perform or we can say it will accept uh, the script from the client and send it to the browsers okay send it to the browsers so there is a server in between this so it's a mediator so what happen whatever we write as a client so in this one programming language is required okay just remember so whenever we write the script in any language like uh, python java php ruby so whatever language we perform to write the test cases so once we send this test cases so that we can perform the action then it will fetch by the selenium mercy selenium mercy is not nothing but it is a mediator or we can say it's a server which accept the test cases sent by the client and then it will perform the action on the browser so this server will takes lots of time to convert a encode and decode this thing right so this is depreciated now okay so instead of uh, using this selenium rc we are using selenium web driver okay so yeah so it uh, and one more thing so as of this one like it does not require any server okay it does not require any server but this required server okay rc required server and limitations what so first limitation like it required server so the execution is very slow second one it also it also can't handle can't handle complex scenario okay can't handle uh, can't handle complex scenario and the same scenario like uh, we can't handle drop down mouse action and navigation so these are the basic thing most of the things also most of the scenario are also not handled by this one okay so it is depreciated now so currently currently okay in selenium 4 if you talk about selenium 4 this is depreciation depreciated means we are not using this one okay we have to use selenium web driver web driver okay to automate met the test cases okay? so we are not using the rc Okay. Okay. And <clears throat> yeah. And one more thing. So if you go about the Selenium IDE, so Selenium IDE, so uh, Selenium IDE only support only support Firefox and Chrome. Like initially only Firefox supporting. then after splitter uh, they have a extension for chrome also so it is supported for the chrome okay so these two browser only supported by id okay and this rc supports multiple browser okay multiple browsers so it support the multiple browser but also have some limitations okay it can't handle the complex scenario also the server is there okay which which makes the uh, script more uh, we can say like uh, less efficient so to replace this one to replace this uh, rc there is one new component launch that is selenium so, uh, web driver selenium uh, this will be three okay one two yeah no you can change this one the two selenium web driver so you already know if you have followed my lecture previous lecture in the architecture i already told you about the selenium web driver yeah so i will give some brief information here okay so there is nothing much more about the selenium web driver because i already told each and every details about the selenium web driver in the architecture part okay so yeah so what is selenium web driver na so this is the core okay this is the core component okay core component of the of the selenium which allows which allows interaction interaction with uh, it allows uh, interaction with the web browser web browsers okay so web driver is a interface okay it's a interface okay and it is and it is allow interaction directly to the browser okay directly to the browser so there is no any server in this uh, between this 
okay so if there is no server it directly can communicate with the browser so our efficient will be fast also also it supports also it supports okay multiple or we can say various also it supports various browsers like chrome firefox id safari as whatever browser we are getting so it support all probably all this uh, all the browsers okay so this is also the main feature again it won't required it won't required any server any server to execute the test case okay so efficiency will be fast so efficiency will be fast it won't require any server so execution will be fast now it supports it supports of multiple programming or various programming language various programming not language programming language like java python C sharp, so we can say C, uh, C sharp. Okay, then the JavaScript as well. Okay, so multiple browsers, uh, multiple programming language it support. Okay, so this is very important. Uh, we can say component of a language. Okay, so that's all in this video, guys. So basically, you have to learn about like how many components you have. But yeah, you have to know about these things. So this RC is not differentiation. So combinedly we are saying we have the four components, okay? Because this RC and uh, and this uh, web driver uh, actually met each other to give us Selenium two version, okay? And then again some uh, we can say advancement or efficient uh, thing will be happened here in this component, and then Selenium three came in the picture. Then, then later on Selenium four came in the picture. So so these are the uh, we can say evolution of Selenium. So if you talk about like I will I will uh, conclude this one also. So so uh, we have uh, ideally ideally okay we have four components okay four components in selenium in selenium selenium but but selenium okay let me write again okay which one selenium id selenium rc selenium Web driver, okay, and Selenium. Yeah, I forgot one word. Selenium grid. Okay. So now first we will see the fourth one. Selenium grid. So what is the use of grid? So grid helps us to perform the parallel testing okay perform the parallel testing so grid help us to perform the parallel testing so one test cases we can run parallel okay now so ideally we have four components right selenium id rc web driver and grid so these rc and web driver okay these two combinedly okay these two combinedly These two combinedly become selenium two. Okay, selenium two. Okay. Then later on, then later on, again enhancement came. Okay. They found they fixed some bugs. Okay. Then came selenium three. Okay. Then come, then came. Selenium three, okay. okay. I am writing here. Okay. Then came Selenium three. Okay. 
then came selenium free again then some enhancement came okay they have fixed some minor issues and all and then also they supported for the headless browser and then it came the final version which we are using now selenium 4 so if anyone ask you like how many components we have so basically we have four component selenium ide selenium rc selenium web driver and selenium grid okay but now rc and web driver combined and giving selenium 2 because this rc depreciation okay and the feature of this rc taken by the web driver with some new features okay so it name is selenium 2 and then again some enhancement came then selenium 3 and then again some enhancement came then it is the selenium 4 and in selenium 4 the documentation is also getting better and also like we are, uh, we have a headless browser uh, headless mode also to run our test cases okay so these are the components of selenium so i hope this is clear to you guys okay so yeah if you like this video so uh, comment down okay subscribe the channel and let me know any issue you have uh, if you have okay so we will see you in the next episode guys thank you bye bye